Risa Floor has default area loads as well as other types of area loads and point loads and line loads. Uh, makes it easier for us to design a building structure uh, when we can just put a area load on a, a large structure, a por portion of the structure or the entire floor. Uh, so if we look at our area load definitions in Risa Floor, we've got office loads, storage, different things like this. This is going to be some of our standard type of loading. And what you'll notice is you have different loads, so pre-composite dead load, post-composite dead load, all these different types of load are all applied to the structure. The default area load is listed here, shown in the floor spreadsheet. So for this entire floor, we're applying an office area load, which includes everything listed on this line. Now, we also have things like piping, and we're adding piping, and that when we have it clicked on as additive, that means that it's going to take all of the default loading, as well as for that office floor level, and it's going to put on top of that piping. There are times when we don't want to do additive, we want to replace that default area load. So that's called public, for example. So we have maybe a hallway situation where we're going to apply loads for the hallway or public area, and that's going to be replace all of the office loading that we have. So it can get complex as you apply loads to the structure. And I'm going to show you here, we, have, we can just show that display right on the screen. So this is without the default showing. We can see using the color coding at the top right side of the screen. You use area loads with defaults. It shows us how we have different color codings for the piping, for example, I mentioned, as well as public space right here. And then we have we can show the default behind that. Now, this also becomes more and more complex as your structure gets bigger. What we have now is a new tool called the Area Load Query, which allows you just to click anywhere in your model and find out what loading is on that part of the model. So I'm going to turn off the loading just so you can see. I can click up in any or corner of the structure, and this shows us a spreadsheet here, or a little dialog showing us exactly how much load, dead load, live load, broken into the categories, and the the superimposed deck loads, if there is any any self-weight to that load, uh, construction dead load and live load, as well as the special type of loading like dynamic mass or vibration loading. Uh, you can scroll through through load combinations. So as I go through the different load combinations, you can see that what's happening in each portion of this. Uh, so if I go down to this portion here, it, at the bottom there, it tells us exactly what the total load was for that uh, lo location I just clicked on with the breakdown. Now you can see if I go to my, let's go back to my load combinations for a second. So we're kind of going through each one of these in that spreadsheet, in that little dialog there. So it tells us exactly under dead load, live load, case, the worst case we had in our situation was dead load, live load was special. Uh, that was kind of our, right where I clicked it. The other piece is to sort of click around your structure. So um, as it gets more complex, as I mentioned, there's a piping section. You can click right there and find what's happening in that piping. And you can verify that you agree with what's happening and how much load you put in there. So you can scroll through there to find that that is exactly what we thought, replaces the load. You can also click in, for example, here, this one was going to be our public location. So what type of loading we're seeing for public, we can all see that directly on the structure. You can flip through there and get your total load. So anywhere in the structure you want to click, you'll find that loading in that area load dialog query box. If I click outside of the model, you'll see there is no load. So you can't miss it by clicking on the wrong location.